Welcome to your magical moon message for the moon in Aquarius and the sun in Pisces. This is the peace dealer and we are here. This is a very important aspect of the cycle, the balsamic phase that is closing out one section of the cumulative journey it has taken us to make it from Aries to Pisces and getting ready to start the new cycle that will bring us into the new cycle in Aries. So one thing I want you to really measure is now compared to 10 years ago and compared to five years ago where you have had a relationship with this collective unconscious and conscious influence that constitutes the interplay between your own individual thoughts and feelings and what you sense around you, which is harnessed from feelings and minds of other people that express itself individually, socially with others, and collectively as an actual mind hive or hub. I really want you to examine how your receptivity to these interpersonal, intrapersonal, transpersonal, and supernatural psychic dynamics have developed your strength in yourself, where the shadow of your own insecurities reflects other energies that seek to reinforce this aspect of yourself versus dismissing and undermining the aspects of yourself that raise and confidence. As you raise the light of your expression, the instant reaction to whatever dark energies that don't wish to see you shine and employ psychological negative maneuvers and mechanisms to dim this has been an influence that everyone experiences. But I really want you to examine how 10 years ago, your relationship with this collective energy may have been way much more intense and difficult than it may be now. In that now you have such, or rather so much more power, control, and experience with this aspect not of yourself, that you're dealing with, okay, versus five years ago, versus 10 years ago, which I really want to officially say congratulations, because much of these unconscious forces and influences, the shadow of which not aligned in the integrity of light is used by other people in forms of guilt and shame manipulation, peer pressuring people to do things, inauthentically by weighing on them what if scenarios and how their social standing or pressure could be added because they don't do what you want. All these dynamics you didn't necessarily just experience. They represented many character tests that really influenced the way you actually respond and react to these energies and thus shape your character thus far. Your willingness and ability to now transcend through Pisces season, these dynamics is going to be made very clear during this balsamic phase where the 12th house of Aquarius, all of this collective energy, by the way, the 12th house of Aquarius is going to transcend and release knowledge that you've built your whole life. And specifically, the bullshit and knowledge that has been peddled to humanity from 1991 and then again 1961. 1962, rather, was the last time Saturn was in Aquarius before 1991, where it was the last time it was in Aquarius. Those cycles of knowledge 
were a part of the Pluto Virgo transit and the Pluto Scorpio transit, of which the Pluto Virgo King Kunk Saturn in Aqua and the Pluto Scorpio squared Saturn in Aqua in 62 and in 91. This taints the quality of knowledge that was given to us. A lot of the scientific literature that was cycled through these periods were tainted with bullshit and impure intent. This is reflected by how now that Pluto Pluto is in Capricorn. Did you notice that? It went from Virgo to Scorpio to Capricorn. Okay. And now we're in a position to really release 12th house in Capricorn to the Aquarius energy, the knowledge that has been taught or pushed. You're going to transcend in how much more obsolete this knowledge is. And a balsamic phase like this with the energy in Aquarius, 12th house to Pisces, is going to release literally everything you thought you knew but it's also going to transform and change forever this relationship with this unconscious influence a lot of people put on a semblance of strength and wisdom even the scientists you've grown up really admiring most of it is quasi pseudo intellectualism that is adorned with degrees and ethos to build credibility and sophistication to sound smart whole time they're just speculating they're not saying shit and these people don't know as much as they let on period so you're realizing this you're realizing that the knowledge that is presented to you over the past two cycles isn't really knowledge as much as it was really bullshit and this is getting you ready to transcend everything you thought you knew so that you can step into a new awareness similar to someone who has seen in 3D their whole life and now you're transcending your third dimensional understanding in an effort to step into 5 or 7D. I hate using those terms because it's very misleading, but it, it's good serving the analogy. So keep that in mind. For example, I don't even want to scoff at scientific findings, but the sum total of all scientific understanding, and I'm talking about, you know, like postmodern conventional scientific thinking, is based on a materialist reductionist third dimensional perspective of reality, which is fucking trash. You have a spirit, you have a soul. So all that shit is bunk. So now that now the science that is you see now that now the science, which is really fake science, which is really difficult. This is why Pluto in the twelfth house of this Aquarius is difficult because this is all ingrained. This bullshit is ingrained in every part of the system, and so it's not necessarily as simple as just dismissing it. Everyone who you know adheres this system, but some of you are tapping into the truth. For those of you who, who read astrology or tarot, you know what I'm talking about. The whole notion of being tapped into a higher truth a higher reality that's beyond this system so with that in mind this transit is going to help you fully because it's not something you just wake up and transcend it's taken years to come out of these old patterns because of the bullshit we've been taught so if you think about the third dimensional perspective with which theorems and postulates and understandings and frameworks and models of reality and existence have been inaccurately and pseudo intellectually espoused, it's going to be a transit like this that's going to tap you in to your higher awareness, your third eye, seeing with your spirit. They're seeing with your physical eyes and then they're seeing with your spiritual eyes. It's a transit like this that opens up the ability to even do that collectively collectively for everyone like never before and what this is going to show you is the the 3d understanding of of reality has been essentially limited and flawed from the inception making everything that's taught just the half truth so yeah gravity may fall at 9.8 meters per second squared but that's only based on our human understanding does it is it true it's real in our perspective this is what this comes down to in our perspective it is real that gravity falls at 9.8 meters per second squared. This is the quality of acceleration, right? It accelerates at 9.8 meters per second squared. But is that the truth? And that's what this transit is going to remind you of. The sum total of everything that you have epistemologically realized that you know isn't true knowledge. And your own soul and experiences are alluding you to a higher reality from within yourself that you came here as a role to teach humanity.
the true knowledge, not this fake shit that elites taught us so that they can instill us in this slave system with which we fight over resources that are not as finite as we're led to believe. Other than that, this is definitely going to be very revolutionary because at this sense of transcendence in the 12th house, you're also transcending your supernatural abilities. So you're transcending the knowledge, okay, 12th house moon in aqua to the Pisces sun of your supernatural abilities, Pisces sun with Neptune. The moon's going to be expanding the awakening that happened in Capricorn and literally manifesting the knowledge of what you awake. And this is going to induce some psychosis in some of you because you're going to dawn on more of a realization that the aspects of your life with which govern a lot of civilization are fucking bullshit. This is why Uranus is squaring this in Aquarius so you can release that knowledge and then instill an innovative attitude with the Uranus square third house to this Pisces sun. Because once we start the new moon, you're gonna, we're releasing old knowledge and this old belief in what we were taught the past two cycles. Everything you know about science, bullshit. Everything you know, and like, call me on this. Everything you know about science, bullshit. Everything you know about religion, bullshit okay and like that's gonna be hard for even me to let go I've, I've made my peace with it but it's going to be hard for a lot of people to let go because you experience this life and you and you you were talking about centuries worth of research institutions education I put that in quotes research I put that in quotes and really it's all just postulation and theor theoretical, you know, explanations of everything and mansplaining. But like you take all this evidence and research and it's hard to look at that and acknowledge and accept that it's bullshit because there's so much work that goes into this. There's so much research. There's so much cooperative, peer reviewed, blah, 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 bullshit that goes into it. So it has to be real, right? And yet no one can answer you for sure, definitively, whether this is a simulation or not outside of just the belief that's why Pisces season is so important. Belief in that which is unseen, the metaphysical opposite Virgo that breaks everything down to its cellular components, okay? And this is where the universe itself is going to transcend your understanding of everything that you think you know. Unfortunately, people will never admit that they think they know everything, okay? I became enlightened the moment I realized that I don't know shit and that I'm liable to be wrong. And this is what opened my mind up to the truth. So like, it's going to take that on a transit like this to let go of facets of what you believed about the collective around you and reclaim your motherfucking power because this transit is going to turn around definitively your relationship with this collective influence. And whereas before with the Pluto ingress into Capricorn coming into the Pluto return, it may have been kicking your ass. Now the tables are turning and you're making it fully your bitch. I just passed the first class car. You're making it your bitch. First class pharmacy, if that's a synchronistic for you. You're gonna make this collective force your bitch. You've unconsciously understood how it operates and now you're interweaving your own authenticity and an unconventional expression of character to really break through this aspect. So this transcendence is going to reveal the ultimate knowledge of the everything that has led up to where you're at in this cycle. And it's going to really give you with this transit as the moon goes over Saturn and Jupiter, you're going to end Mercury, you're going to come into unconventionally transcendent knowledge of how to apply with the square to Uranus and Taurus physically higher ideas and knowledge of how to ground physically magical abilities that you will now see the cause effect relationship of what is this going to do a few things this is going to show you oh my gosh I was taught this but I did this so that what I was taught is bullshit you're going to release it and then you're going to step into the new moon with these new abilities and start that cycle in airy season defining your character as someone who can do this highly supernaturally magical shit and you know why right it's because you're a badass motherfucker need i remind you so you stay blessed as always and until next time